Hey guys, I'm Paige and today I'm going to be trying out some weird beauty life hacks that I've seen on YouTube. So, let's get it out. So, note the awesome peacock feather case. So, the first one is that um, you can put red lipstick. So, you take your concealer, you put it on, put red lipstick on over that, and then put more conceal over it, and supposedly it will put take away more of the dark circles under your eye than others, so I'm going to do it on half my face versus the other half. So, I, I'm a redhead, so I, I really like my dark red lipstick. It's kind of like almost a purple. <laughs> so we're going to get on our concealer. I'm cheap. I don't have the powder lipstick. So I'm using e.l.f. brand. This is the lightest they got. Um, so let's, so we're gonna put our, it right here. Okay, I, I will blend it in. It does not actually look like this when I put it on. Let's do that. Stick it, no wait, I need this later. <laughs> and let's put, let's blend that in with your finger. Da -da 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 -da. Not my best. FYI, I do not use makeup all the time. <laughs> like, I usually do not put on makeup when I make my videos, so like... And then they did red look- Oh, it looks like I'm bleeding! Okay, here's my cheap imitation of it. And then let's rub that in. <laughs> also, if you actually watch RCL Beauty 101's video, um, weird beauty life hacks that every girl should know. I'm subscribed to her, so just go to my channel and look in subscriptions. Her video, um, she did, she applied the lipstick on with powder and she had powdered concealer. So, I'm more of like winging it. <laughs> or like doing it differently. So, um, this may, this may turn out totally different. Oh uh, yes. Okay, let's let's keep rubbing this in and hope it just looks totally better. Okay, it kind of looks better. Like I would never wear this in public, honestly, because if I if I had red lipstick on, it would probably highlight my the red in my skin. Okay, so here is as far as I got it blend in on this side. Um, you can still see the red about here and up here that I kind of got on my eyebrow, and then you can also see this side if I rub it in there. You can see how it's like a little bit better. So I would say this one's kind of like a fail. Add a little bit of red here. So uh, our second beauty life hack, well, that I'm gonna be trying is to take a green tea bag. Um, I just took off the string on this one. Get it wet. So here it is wet. And then just stick it on your lips if your lips are chapped and leave it there for about five minutes. Mm, it actually tastes really good. <laughs> like, like tea. I love tea. Mm, okay, so I don't think I've actually left it on for the equivalent of like five minutes yet, but already my lips are feeling like super good and there's not really any dry skin. But this, I, I really think this is absolutely one that works. So if you have chapped lips and you don't have chapstick, um, I would definitely check this out. And... So I think that was actually pretty good. So our second life hack, or no, third, our third life hack is to take away bruises. Um, or just, I think it's more like to take away the coloring. Um, so you get a mouth, you get some anti-cavity fluoride rinse. So you, get, so you get some mouthwash. Let's try this. And you just go like this. Act like it's nail polish remover if, if you do nails. Um, then you take a bruise. I have one right about here on my knee, so then I'm gonna rub it on it, uh, and let's see what happens. I think that maybe if it if it does work, that it it like whitens it, the bruise itself, and like takes the color away, but you still like hurt there. I don't know. So let's let's like put this on there. Maybe you have to like wash it away. Let's get this right. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna work with this and then I will tell you guys what works, okay? Yes. So I've been like holding it down or like just leaving, letting it sit on my bruise for a while, for like about a minute or two. And um, it looks kind of lighter, but wait, wait, wait. Did it just get darker? Okay, um, I don't think I did anything wrong, but like, like let's see what the video says um let's let's look at this um rcl beauty 101 weird life hack weird beauty life hacks that every girl should know so let's fast forward to where the thing is oh my goodness uh, I just watched I just watched that one section of it and it literally said like you put it on there swipe swipe wash it off and voila you have no bruise but I did that with the cotton ball and it like it didn't go away so I think this one is a definite fail ah. <laughs> so let's get on with our next one so our last life hack is to well the one that I'm trying is to take some foam sheets and to cut them out in like the shape of your eye and put eyeshadow on them so and then you can like press it on your eye because like sometimes you're just in a hurry and you don't have time to put on eyeshadow so you end up kind of looking like, like a skeleton with like super pale eyes like and like a regular face with like all your foundation on I do that all the time and I hate it so what we're going to do is we're going to take our foam let's get our scissors <laughs> And then we are going to cut them in the shape of an eye. eye. Close at, to a eye shape as I got. Um, so it about it actually about fits my eye. Like it does. No, I actually do better on this one because it. Wait, which end is it skinnier? At? Yeah, it's definitely skinnier at this end, so it'd be for this eye. So now we're going to take out our eyeshadow and put it on the <laughs> put it on the foam thing, and then we're going to press it on. Right now, I'm going for like my basic look. Well, my favorite look, I guess. So I'm going to put this light pink. It's kind of like a blush, actually, all over this. So if you have a colored, um, don't worry if it doesn't show up all the way. It's still there. White is actually the best. I just didn't have white at the moment. Um, so I got that on. Now I'm going to take my bronzer color and put it about... I'm going to put it about halfway up. This is going to be like the... So we got that on, we have that, and I'm gonna put a little bit of this definer, if it's gonna go here, at the edge to make kind of like a smoky eye effect-ish. So here we have this, and now we are going to, the ultimate test, we have to put it on, okay? So here we go, I like a sailor, or like a pirate. So let's press it on, and Did it work? Did it come off? I don't really see any difference. Okay, let's tr let's try this one more time. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Maybe you have to like hold it for a while. This is odd. Like I I've never, I've ne honestly never tried this. Don't push too hard though, um, cause it's starting to hurt a little on the bridge of my nose and at the back, cause like your eye socket is, it's kind of delicate. So I got it off. So you have a little bit of stuff right there and on this end. Do I have anything? Okay, I think this might work for some people, but not for others. So I'd say it's about like a toss up. It kind of stinks though, cause like I wanted that to work and like this is my, this is my favorite thing. It's gentle. So like, I don't think this would necessarily work for me, but be totally be sure to check this out because things all, just look at all the possibilities. Like maybe my phone wasn't right. Maybe it was just the wrong size maybe i needed more eyeshadow on it to make more pigment or like did it show up it kind of showed up so so maybe i just need to get more skilled with like the exact pinpoint of it i could i could make like i could like trace something of my actual eye shape so then i wouldn't have to like wing it so thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you like this video for sh be sure to check out my other videos and give this video a big thumbs up also be sure to subscribe if you like this video um, for more like this. See ya.